What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be discussing filter and how to use filter in Python. Now uh, recently I just made a video on map so filter should not be that difficult. If um, you guys haven't checked out the lambda functions and map I suggest you do so. Uh, not the functions, sorry, the videos. Um, okay, so filter is very similar to map in the sense that we take a function and an iterable and we're going to apply the function to each element of the iterable. Uh, one of the key differences is that the, the type of function that filter uses, uh, filter uses a function that returns a Boolean value. And based on this Boolean value, we will um, filter out the list. So essentially, anything that returns a true value, we keep. Anything that returns a false value, we discard. So filter, once again, is going to filter out the elements that return a true value and get rid of the elements that return a false value. So filter is a way to filter out a list and just keep the elements you want. All right, so this will be a lot more clear, clearer when I go through an example. Let me, let me show you guys through this example. All right, so I have a function called isEven, and um, basically what it does is it checks if the number is even. If it's even, it returns a true value. If it's not, it returns a false value. So our function, is going to help us filter out all the even numbers. So I will run this. Okay, now I will run nums list, uh, which is just a list of numbers from 0 to 10, as you can see. And now here's where we apply filter. So filter is going to take the function as the first element and the uh, iterable as the second element. So it has basically the same sort of syntax or a very similar syntax to map. And that's what makes it easier to um, learn filter after you learn map and uh, lambda functions. So I will run this, and the expected value are just even numbers. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. All right. Um, now here's just a, a lambda version, um, which is essentially the same thing. It's, it's just that we replace the function with a, a throwaway function. Um, so lambda will check if the numbers are even. Here we're checking for the Boolean value. It's going to return um, true or false based on this uh, Boolean check. Okay, so I'll run this. And as you can see, we get back all the even values. All right, so now let's get, let's get into a little more complicated function or uh, complicated usage of filter. Now filter can be used um, with functions that are compounded. Uh, I think they're called comp composite functions in math. Um, so if you have something like f, o, g, first you take, uh, you apply the g function to a g of x, and then you get the values back, and then you apply f to the uh, g of x, to the values that return from g of x. Um, so essentially in the same thing, essentially we're doing the same thing. So here, we take a list and we're going to apply map to that list, and we get back another list, which we're going to apply is even to and we're going to base filter, and we're going to filter based on that. So um, hopefully that made sense, but if not, here. So first we're going to apply map, which is going to take nums list and apply a function to it. Here, just uh, essentially doubling the function. And if you guys remember, map returns a list. And now this returned list, we're going to actually use and filter. So the iterable is going to be the list that's returned from map, and we're going to be applying is even to that. So if I run this, as you can see, um, all the numbers are doubled. And since all the numbers are doubled, doubled they're all considered even numbers. Yeah, uh, just in case that wasn't clear, um, here, a list of map. This is what the inner function does. It returns all these numbers. And then we apply is even to all these numbers. And since all these numbers are even, um, we, we, we get the full list back. OK, um, all right. So now I'm just going to show you a non-numerical example. Sometimes, uh, here's one way you can uh, use a filter with non-numerical examples, uh, with a non-numerical example, okay. So I have a list of URLs. The first two are legit URLs, but the third one is um, uh, mundra.com, which does not exist. So we have three URLs, and the goal of this, um, the usage of filter will be to filter out the ones that have a none value. So I only want the ones that are legit URLs. So I will run this. Okay. Now this is the function. If you guys don't know requests, I actually have a playlist on web scraping, but 
essentially it's going to check, get the data, and if there is data, it returns data. But however, if you get an exception, this uh, you usually get an exception if the URL doesn't exist and it can't make the connection. So if that happens, I want to return a none. And then I'm going to filter out all the values that are not equal to none. So I will run this. And now I will uh, run this uh, filter and I should just get back the first two, uh, Google and YouTube. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. So I got Google and YouTube and the third one, it couldn't make a connection so it disregarded it because it returns a none value. All right, um, hopefully that was easier to understand. If not, if you have any questions, just let me know. I will try to address them within the comment sections. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.